drop a like on the video in the next five seconds or you'll never be able to travel throughout the cruise ship again without getting an error code. I would not risk it. What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Jerry coming back at you with another video. We on the one score today. As you guys can see, we in the comp stage. First game right here, we got She Love Shifty. You guys know him, he's a streamer. He be doing his thing in the comp stage. But it's all love to everybody I played. You know, I just went on a fast streak. I want to show you guys how deadly my build really is. So I'm on my two-way playmaker, also known as a two-way slashing playmaker. I'm telling you guys to play a lot. This build is disgusting. If you really want to know my build, I will leave my build video in the description. If you want to know my jump shot, that will also be in the description as well. But as we get into the gameplay, as you guys can see, everyone loves to sit back in the paint on you because they think you can't shoot or they just want to test you to see if you can shoot. But with this build, you really can shoot, especially when you have all your badges. Like, I only have six badges, bro. And as you see right here, when you're going against a little guard, like, this build is so dominant when you just slash and just dominate them in the paint. They really can't hold you. It's, like, really hard for them to even guard you, especially when you're slashing. And right now, I notice that he's sitting in the paint, but I know that I can still get around them because this build is so godlike. I'll just wait for them to jump, get inside position, and it's just easy layups. Even if they do play good defense, this build will still help you get past them. Because you guys got to remember, he's on, like, a six foot, six one, six foot one guard. So it's really hard to guard it. Now that he's sitting back in the paint, as you guys can see, then you can just shoot the ball and get your greens. So as you see right here, the score is 8-0. And I told myself this play, I was like, you know what? Let me cook up. Let me see how his defense is. Let me see how he reacts. He stepped up a little bit. He was trying to bait me, but then I saw the lane. I didn't mean to do that move right there, but it worked out for the better. And it gave me the inside position for the easy layup. 10-0 now, you know, I'm cruising. I'm feeling it. I was like, you know what? Let me cook up. Let me, let me get my dribble moves in. Let me get in my bag. Even though I didn't mean to do that spin, it was no problem. I still saw the lane. Easy layup off the backboard. You know what it is. And I'm surprisingly, you do get a lot of good games on the one score. As you guys can see, someone hopped on next. And I'm going to show you that gameplay later in the video. But getting back to the gameplay, easy lane. He's playing way too high. Easy dunks. Like, it's just too easy with this build. Like, they just can't guard it. Especially a guard that's six foot. And even when you go against inside bigs, you'll see later in the video, like, they can't even guard you either. I'm not going to lie, because you just use your speed to your advantage, run around them, cook up, do your moves, shoot your shots and stuff. But right here, I did mess up. I did get too cocky with the, dri uh, with the driving, and I did shoot some stupid shot. He got the ball, and now it's time to play defense. And I'm not going to lie, he was moving pretty good. It was kind of hard to guard, especially with his speed with ball advantage. Because I am 6'5", so my speed with ball is not as fast, even though I do get a 99 speed at 99 overall. And with that being said, I would not trade this build for any other build in the game. It's just so fun. It's not even about being skillful with the build. It's just about having fun. Like this build, you could dunk, shoot, dribble, do everything you, you want. You could play good defense. Even though we didn't get the block right there, I feel like we should have. I, I don't think I had chase down artist on uh, for the one squirt. I should have had it on, but I didn't. But I wouldn't trade this build for nothing. It's just so fun. And it's even keeping up with the best guards in the game. Like, he's one of the best top guards in the game. You should go check him out if you haven't. He plays uh, comp stage threes. And I'm keeping up. That's just my fault right there. I just got bopped. It was a good move on his part. And right now, during this game, I'm telling myself, I need to get a stop. I can't let him keep getting buckets. I can't let him get his takeover because then it really could be deadly. It could really be over. I'm playing good defense right here. And then I do get the chase down right here. Thank God they gave it to me. But 2K did. F me over, make me run out of bounds because you know 2K does always be doing some nut shit. But you know what? It's whatever. We're gonna clamp up, we're gonna get the ball back, and we're gonna do our thing. He definitely was a shot or two away from takeover, and that sharp takeover is really deadly. I press square, I get a lucky rip right here. I'm, I tried to do a hop step, but 2K made me pick it up. But I did get the easy hook shot, and now that we have takeover, the game is really over. 
as you guys know, when you get playmaking takeover, everyone wants to run to the paint. So I was like, you know what? Let me just cook up, dribble up. Let me just mess around with him. I take the easy mid range, but I did get a little lag spike. I don't, I do not know how I missed it, but I did get the ball right back. Uh, good defense on my part. I know he's sitting back, so I was like, you know what? Let me just green this three, make him respect my jump shot, make him respect me, make him step up. If not, I'm just gonna punish him. And now it's 19-6. I knew I had the game in my hands. I know I could win. I got my takeover. I'm trying to cook up. Didn't mean to do that move, but I saw the lane again, and it was just an easy layup. GG's to him. 21-6. This build is just a demigod. This build does it all. 10 for 12, 1 for 1 from 3. You know, this build does it all. We take care of it. We get it done. And now it is really time for business. As you guys can see, we have a big man pulling up on us. This is where this build really thrives. And he's a good person. He's good. He plays comp stage too. I actually know who this is. But we got a level 33. Paint beast. 97 overall. This is going to be a tough game. I know for sure. But you know my body. You know how I get down. You know I am with it. And I know he can't guard me. It's just it's that simple. I know nobody could guard me bro. 97 overall paint beast. I already know he's going to run to the paint. He's going to want me to shoot it. So I'm going to cook up. I'm going to make him come up. Kill him right here. Try to do the spin back. It did not let me, unfortunately. But that's all right. I am running low on stamina. And I already know once you're low on stamina this year, you can't shoot. So I drive. I didn't mean to do that move. It sold me. I, I, I launched. But you know what? We'll get it back on defense. It's all right. I have Hall of Fame defense. I don't have it for nothing. That's why I made this build. So I already know I'm going to get a stop. Because I know he's just going to try to hop set me or dunk on me or something. So we're here. We get a stop. Big boards. You know, 6'5". Max wingspan. I'm not having it. So let's cook up cooking him up have the lane he jumps easy lays easy lays i already know he's gonna jump that's a perfect move they always be jumping on the pump fake and now i'm cooking up i'm in my bag come here spin back kill i see the lane behind the back big dunks that was a kill sorry chubs i had to kill you but man i had to cook up you know what i'm saying i had to cook up i had to get me a bucket but like i said guys this is a pure paint beast and you can still get buckets against them bro this build is just unstoppable so he's playing some good defense right here. He's trying to bait me to shoot. I'm here, he's playing down now. So I know I'm gonna have to shoot. I do a walk back and that's just an easy green. You guys know my body, 7-0. And just like that, we're halfway to take over. Once I get take over, the game is over for sure. And right here, I hit him with the double behind the back and then to the heavy speed glitch and it's just easy dunks, bro. You just can't keep up, especially these big paint beasts that are pure inside the builds and dunking. They just can't keep up with the speed. 9-0, we're almost at takeover. He does have me boxed a little bit right here. I can admit, this guy is a good player. I spin right here, didn't get the move I wanted. Kill him with behind the back. So that back, he's there, he has good defense. You know, a good defense is play. I feel like I should have made this shot right here, but 2K did hold me. I think I should have made it, but you know what? We're gonna stop, we play defense. So we here, he's trying to run in. He just wants to get a dunk off. He's trying to speak glitch like it's 2K21, but he did get the lane. He did get the layup, but it's all good. We're gonna get a stop. We got Hall of Fame defense. We already know that he can't shoot, he can't do nothing besides just drive to the paint and try to hop stop me or spin move or get me jumping like he does right here. He does uh, outplay me with, uh, with the pump fakes and he does get an easy layup again, but he just outplayed me right there. So it is what it is. We'll get a stop next play. So it's 9-4. I'm here. Give me that. Give me that. I press square. Get the rip. Got the ball. Run to the three. Shoot that. Get a, as you guys saw, I did get a little spike. I don't know why my game's been spiking, but it is what it is. So he does get the ball back. And they even gave me a pure late, bro. There's like there's an early late glitch. I don't care if no one says they do have that. And I do be getting it sometimes. But it is what it is. We just have to wait for 2K to fix that. And he gets an easy blow by again just because he's taller than me. But I am confident that I will get a stop on him just because I do believe in myself and I believe in my defense. And this build provides me with all the badges and the defensive stats that I need. So right here, he messes up. He tried to do a hop step. He picked it up. I'm right here for the 99% contest. We here. Oh my god. Kill. Spin. Spin back. Kill. Big greens. Sorry, Chubbs. I had to do it to you. But I had to cook you up, bro. I had to do it. After that play, I'm really feeling myself. So I hit him with a double behind the back. Another behind the back. And he's playing good defense right here. So you know what? I'm going to just hit him with the speed glitch because I know he's playing way too high now. So I hit him with that. And just an easy dunk on his head, bro. On his head. Now we got takeover. You know the game is over. You know how we rock. So now I got my badge and I really want to cook him up. Especially I cannot lose to somebody I know. So I'm here. Hit him with the half spin. Get inside position. And that's easy layup. I'm 6'5". You got to remember, guys, he's only like 6'8". Everyone be making their paint beast and big man now like 6'7", 6'8". So this build does fairly good against them. So I hit him with the spin back. I kill him right here. Kill him. Then I hit this three. Run to the other side. Green. 
Like this build is just crazy, bro. If you put this build with a decent skill level, if you could dribble and stuff, you guys will have so much fun on this game. Like look at me, look at me just cooking up, bro. Like he can't even guard me right now. Like I'm just too fast with takeover. I'm just playing with him now. I'm just messing around. Hit him with the spin dunk on his head, bro. 20 to six. I'm just dominating right now. So now I'm really in my bag. I really want to cook him. I really want to get his ankles just so I could brag with him later when I talk to him. But I don't know why, but I need to put ankle breaker hold of him. I don't have that on. But right here, I get the lane. I go over the big body dunk, but he does get a block because 2K did give me an animation of a cockback. I don't even have animations on like that. It just be giving me those dunks. And of course, he gets the same dunk animation back and I can't get the block. But you know what? We're going to stop. It's 20 to 8. He has a long way to go if he wants to win. And he cannot shoot or do anything besides drive. So I'm... 100% confident we will get a stop. I am here. He does get the inside lane. He does get a big dunk. But look, I have Hall of Fame Intimidator. He misses. He missed the wide open dunk. But now I get the ball back. You know, my body cooking up, cooking up. But 2K did hold me, bro. It didn't even, like, it didn't even let me get the ball. Like right there, I tried to do a hop step dunk and it just made me do a pump fake and a fader or something like that. But I don't know. It is what it is. We'll get the ball back again. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Red contest. Give me that. You know what time it is, but I don't want to play no more games. I just want to end it because I do not want to lose. So I hit him with the step back right here. Big greens. Get off my court, Chubbs. Good game. GG's. 23 points. You know how it is. You know how we move around here. We get buckets, baby. We get buckets. I shot three for four from three. Ten for 15. Best build. Man, when I get on this 1v1 court, I really feel like the man. Like, this is so fun. This is more fun than twos and threes, I think. But we got another guard right here. He's got some 2K generic shoes on. I don't know what he's doing. That's a bad fit. I respect the hoodie, though. But look, my boy in the back. He's sick. My boy Chubbs, he's so sick right now. But we do have a 99 play shot. And then, of course, we got the two-way playmaker, Demi God. Favorite build in the game. But I do not want to give this kid the ball because 99 play shot. He is very short. He's going to have mad speed, and I don't feel like dealing with that. So, you know, I'm hitting with the step back. Green, I don't know why they all sag. They think I can't shoot. But my jump shot is chicken. Like I said earlier, my jump shot will be in the description. Go watch that video if you need to. But easy lanes. He's playing too high now. Now it's just easy rim runs to these little guards. They just can't guard it. This kid definitely has no defense in his build. I can just tell how he's playing. So I hit him with this, the hezzy. And then big dunks. You know, my player gets up. I feel like MJ out here, bro. I feel like the GOAT. I can literally do it all. This build is just so fun. And now he runs straight to the paint, so I hit him with my signature move. I kill him. Messed up my jump shot, though. I didn't mean to pump fake. That's why I got a late, but I did get my board back. And I see that he's playing the inside. He gives me the whole left baseline, so I just run to the left and take the easy layup. Now that it's 8-zip, I'm still nowhere near takeover. I don't know why. Probably because I haven't shot yet for the most part. But, you know what? I'm cooking up. Hit him with my moves, and I take the left baseline again because he's just a baby. These little guards, they just can't stick you. Like, this build is just so overpowered and so fun to use. And now that I've been driving, I hit him with my signature move and oh, where are you, boy? Like, dude, like, they just can't guard me, bro. Like, damn. And after that play, huh? Yeah, he's reaching after that play. I ain't gonna lie. He, he has the reach because yeah, I know he's pissed. 12 0 now. I'm like, I think I'm a bucket or two up take. So, you know what? I'm like, you know what? Let me just get a bucket. Let me just drive it in. Big body layups. You know, he can't guard me. These little guards is just impossible for them. So now I'm like, one off take or two off take. So, you know, I'm like, let me cook up, hit him with the quick hezzy speed glitch, and just get an easy dunk. And my player loves doing that little dancey dance. And now it's 16 zip. This kid hasn't even touched the ball yet. And obviously, I did not want to give him the ball. But right here, you know, I'm cooking up, I'm cooking up, I'm going for clips. But I did sell myself right here, and I was forced to take this shot. Didn't mean to do it. But you know what? We got Hall of Fame defense, but this is the real test because this is a small guard. So let's see if we can keep up. But you know, I'm reaching, I'm reaching. Because I'm pissed in my head. I'm like, damn, I should have never did that. Even though I didn't mean to do it, it happened. So it just got me pissed off. But we're back on defense. We just got to get it back and we got to get back on offense. But he gets the dunk. Uh, whatever. But we got to get it back. So we got to play defense. We do have a crazy lead. He's cooking up. He's cooking up. He's going crazy with it. Step back. And he makes a yellow contest. I don't know how those go in. But it's got to be the badges. You know, the blinders. Uh, needs a nerf mismatch expert. Like, they got to nerf those badges. But, you know, I'm here. I'm here. I'm boxing him. I'm boxing him. He's boxed. I read him already. He just goes left and right. I already know what he wants to do. Seven seconds, he's going into the paint. I jump, give me that easy block. Even though he gets the board, I'm here. I'm too tall, bro. This build's just nuts. I'm too tall. I get it back. You know, I take it out, but he's spamming again, bro. He's definitely pissed. 
Now the score is 16-4. I ran 90. One more bucket, so I hit him with the quick hedgy. And then easy lays, bro. Big body. Even though that should have been takeover, I thought I needed one more, but I didn't. So, you know what? We'll get it right here. It's 18-4. You know I hit him with the quick speed boost. He's playing too high up. And that's just easy blow by his big dunks, bro. I'm too big, bro. I'm just too big. This build caters to ISO players like myself. So, for you guys, you guys are going to have a field day with this. But look at me. Spin back. Thought I had it. I did launch myself. That was a bad shot. I didn't think he was going to pull up because he was sitting paint the whole game. But you know what? We'll get it back. 20 to 4. He's there. He hits me with a quick speed boost. Okay, good shot, good shot. But he misses. As soon as he gets the ball, he misses. And then he spans me again. And what else do you know? It always happens on the 1v1 court because everyone just rages when you lose the ball. And uh, if I'm dribbling crazy, you know, he knows he can't guard me. He's definitely going to be pissed after he loses the ball. So you know me. I get the dribbling. I'm, I'm surveying the court. See what he's doing. He plays too high up. Easy drive by. Get the inside position. He jumps. And that's game. 22 points. You know what it is. 11 for 14. And we're on a five game win streak. You know my body. And coming to the last gameplay I got for y'all. It's a goodie. It's against another guard. Another six foot, six one. Actually, I don't know. This kid was really short. Could be 5'11, 5'10. I don't even know, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. Them kicks are ugly as hell, boy. But we gotta play shot. You know what it is. Level 35. So I'm guessing he's pretty good. You know, we in the comp stage, like I said earlier. So everyone knows what they're doing. And you know my body. I'm ready on a five-game win streak. You know how I am. You know how I be. I be getting business done. This is a little guard. So I already know he's probably going to go run down to the paint. Force me to shoot. Hopefully I miss and then he would kill me on offense. But I'm not going to even try to give him the ball. I'm just going to kill him, bro. So I'm going to step back. Yep. He's, he's playing way too high. That's easy blow buys. That's big body dunks. I'm a 6-5, two-way playmaker. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have this build, make it for the twos, threes, ones. It doesn't matter. He's playing too far. That's green. Like, you got to step up on me, bro. I can shoot. I have a strap. Like, I literally have the best jump shot in the game. That's the beauty of this build. The beauty of this build is they won't guard you. They just don't know how to. Even though I just missed that, I was a bad shot. But when I do have max badges, I'm definitely going to be draining those shots. So I'm not even worried. But you know what? We do have max defense, so I know I'm going to get a stop. We here, we here, we here. Oh, that's a good shot. See, that was a good shot. That's a good peek in around the one's court. So, you know what? That's a good shot. It happens, but I'm confident that I will get stopped stop throughout this whole game. So, I'm definitely going to be pressing him and make him uh, try to make him pick up the ball. See, look. He's boxed. He's boxed right now. Like, where are you going, bro? I got Hall of Fame defense, Hall of Fame clamps, all that. I'm here. Hell no. Hell no. Red. That's red contest, bro. Look at me. Look at me go. What? 2K just bailed him out, but we here, bro. We here. Oh yeah, he's tired. He's out of energy. Hell no. Hell no. That's my board. Damn, I jumped too early. I'm tripping, bro. Hell no. There's no way he goes up. No way. That's mine. Thank you. Man, this build is so godlike, bro. Like, they literally just can't score on me, bro. I'm, I'm all the way. I'm all the way. He's too small. I got a baby on me. Jump. Easy lays, bro. Like, this build is just a demigod, bro. I love this build. Now it's 7-2. I'm going to cook up a little bit, do my moves, do my moves. See, he's sitting in the paint because he knows he can't guard me. He got a lucky bump right here, but you know what? You can't sit because I'm going to hit those. I hit my whites. You know, like, come on, bro. Just because I have a 64-3 and like a 68 mid-range doesn't mean nothing. I'm going to hit those. Step off. That's green. Big minx, bro. Like, you got to step up. Respect me, bro. My jump shot is chicken, bro. Wait till I have max badges, bro. I shoot this one, I know I miss it, but you know what, I get the board, it's alright. Everyone misses, not everyone's perfect, that's, uh, it happens, bro. But guess what, I take him to the left side again, because he just gives me the lane every time, bro. Like, he has to, like, play defense or something like that. Look, now he just runs to the paint, you know, I'm gonna get glitchy with it, I'm gonna get glitchy with it, I'm trying to see what he's doing. Like, I feel like this kid just gave up, like, I, I get my board again, like, this kid doesn't even want to play no more. I'm just gonna pull the mid-range, because you know, that is chicken guaranteed, makes boy. Like, I'm not going to miss a mid-range like that. So at this point, I already know he's going to run to the paint and let me shoot. So I'm going to send him with the Jerry signature. The spin back kill. You know that's mink, boy. You know my jump shot is chicken, bro. Like, this is just abuse at this point. 18-2. to two. I'm cooking up. I'm cooking up. I spin back. He, he's lost. He's lost. He doesn't know what to do. It's just easy rim runs. Look at that spin on his head, bro. Like, I'm just so unguardable. 20 to 2. I know I could kill him at any moment because I do have my takeover. He's so small. All he's doing is sitting back in the paint. If I want to, I could just shoot it. But you know what? Let me cook up a little bit. Let me cook up. Let me kill him, bro. Lay. Uh, even though I do miss, I'm still going to get my board. But I don't want to lose, so I'm not going to mess around anymore. I'm going to just finish it. And GG's, bro. 22 points on his head. GG's the boppy. That's a six game win streak. You know my body, bro. I barely even let him score. I held him to two points. This two way playmaker is a demigod. I'm an ISO god. You guys know I do this, bro. The 1v1 court is my home.
YouTube. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Join the family. I will be posting a lot more content on the two-way playmaker, also known as the two-way slashing playmaker from 20. This is my main build. I love this build. It's so fun to use, and I love making videos for you guys. So, let me know down in the comments what type of videos you'd like to see with this build. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.